Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here's Pandemic on the Brink, first edition. Here is second edition. What you're going to see on the boxes is much more dynamic art. I like this a lot better. It's very, this is just okay. It looks kind of cheap. Also, you notice a difference in the size box. This is going to match the original size of the original box. If you have them on their shelves, it's going to look a lot nicer. But this one's kind of a weird shaped box. I don't like this size box as much because this is just going to match up with the first one and sit really nicely on my shelf where this one just has an odd size. Also, this one doesn't close all the way when I try to stack everything in. This one has plenty of room in it, but let's take a look and see what's inside. Here we're gonna have the two rule books side by side. On the brink, obviously comes in a smaller box. You have the smaller rule book. This one's gonna have all the components listed on the front, which I love. I love pictures of components. This just kind of has the contents listed out and the different challenges. This is almost like an advertisement on the front. We're gonna open these up together. We're gonna see a picture of the components, which is great. And this one, you're gonna jump right into what the new rules are and the overview. We're gonna kind of get that over here. As you go through, you're going to see the different challenges you're going to have, where it takes you a few pages to get set up. That's mostly due to size, and you'll be able to scroll through here and find your new ones. I didn't find anything that was challenging in the first edition rulebook. The second one is more clear. You're going to see more color, some things that pop out here, and more pictures than the other one. And I do like the rules that are listed on the back, where this one has etiquette and winning and losing on the back of it, and you kind of got to piece through here. But I find both rule books to be pretty good. I prefer the second edition if I had to pick, but both are not bad. I do like color, and I do like pictures, and I do like the size of this better. This one, because of the small size, had to have a lot more pages. So here are the sheets you're going to use with the expansion that lets you have the, ter the Bio Terrace. The one that comes in second edition is much longer, where this one had to fit inside the box, so it's shorter and squatter. They both have 27. All the information on it are pretty much the same. I would say I like this one better. It feels more like a notepad, but this one fits better on the table. You know, you always, table spaces at a premium when you're playing a game. So this one will set up by, you know, you get plenty of with both. You can always make copies or laminate or do whatever you like. So as you open up these boxes, they're both going to come with stickers. This one I haven't stickered yet. It does have a place on the board in the second edition to put a sticker on, where in this edition we had these that were stickered on, but nothing to put on the board. Instead, you had this little chip thing that you would use, and you would just place it on there, and this is made out of cardboard. As you'll see with the second edition one, you're going to have a custom insert where you can kind of put your pieces in. The Petri dishes are much smaller in the second edition. They could actually fit inside the first edition, but they fit in the box. You can see you have five of the one underneath, so they fit really nicely in there once they get stickered up. As for the cards, so not too much difference in the cards. You can see different artwork here. A little bit of clarification on the rules that you're going to have. Uh, you can see the new artwork. You, in both of them, you have places where you can make your own if you like. And there are some additional events that you will have, some additional epidemics, and the new on the brink ones, and the mutation cards. So the cards are actually very, very similar. Not a huge difference. I'll show you some of these. You know, the mutation cards is this big, huge mutation. I like this better because I think it stands out quite a bit more in the first edition. And you have your event cards very large. I tend to like these first editions a little bit better. I think that they just pop a little bit more and they look fantastic. In both of these you're getting the ponds. In the second edition you get the smaller ponds like in the first one and in this one you're getting the larger ones. So they're just wooden ponds. I wish that they were meeples. I wish they were painted meeples. Neither set gives you that. At the end of the day you kind of get what you said. These are smaller. If you Which artwork do you prefer? And you get a custom insert. That's the big difference between these two components. So these are the two editions of Pandemic that we've had, the first edition and the second edition. Box size, I really like this. Components are kind of a wash for me. The Petri dishes are smaller, but you do get the custom inserts. Everything fits in better. I never felt like everything fit in this box very well. I tend to like the artwork, excluding the box of cover art, what's inside the game, the card design a little bit better in the first edition and the second edition. Once again, if you're going to get the second edition, you can get all of the comp uh, upgraded expansions, where if you wanted to do the expansions with the old edition, you're going to have to definitely sleeve the cards. In this one, you do get the sticker for the board, versus in this one, you get the little cardboard thing. I prefer to have the sticker that can just be there forever, but your mileage may vary. Depending on what you plan on doing with these, I would probably give a slight nudge if they were the same price. This edition is probably going to be found cheaper. So your mileage may vary. I would say this one has a slight edge, but it depends on what you're looking for out of the game. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, 
please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep